Well, there you go. Look at this. Here, he's back again. This is Gator at the cable company. Uh, the Guidestones is Satan's uh, commandments, which will be enforced by the UN. The Georgia Guidestones, uh, it just covered it up. Isn't that something? Commandments, which will be enforced by the UN. Now, let's see what I was doing is I went like this right here, and I just said, Hey, Google. Give me the Satan worshippers that go to the guide stones. Here's what I found on the web. Okay, and then that's what it brings up. Uh, the Georgia uh, guide stones granite monument erected in uh, 1980 believed the monument was for sun worshippers, for cult worship, and for devil worship. Okay, well, that's what it comes up. <clears throat> American Stone Age. Somebody said something about it that we, that we so worshiping the devil. And what we were doing is uh, we're seeking out knowledge. Uh, we're just trying to seek out knowledge that goes with these uh, these stupid people that uh, believe that killing you off is going to be the best thing for all of us, okay? Or whoever, all of them who might well... Cause I'm the blood they want to kill, you know. I'm part of the the great reset, I guess. My blood and me, all of us ain't gonna have a right to stay here. Because why? Because uh, they, they say you can't. They make they make billions of dollars off of us, and then they gonna down and take us out, man. And that's what it is, man. They gonna take us out. The, the Georgia guy stones are inscribed uh, with. Uh, ten guiding uh, principles. Uh, some kind of Satan worship shine and thought to be torn down. Thought to be torn down. Well, yeah, we went down and we went and seen it yesterday and it ain't torn down. And I don't have the only this is the first evidence that I've seen that. Um, that it says that, that it was but uh, we're just out to get information that's what we're doing all uh all of us uh here waiting for the end of the world georgia's 30 year stone 80 90 2000 uh, that's 40 years ago somebody don't know how to do their they don't know how to add i don't guess uh it was written on uh, visiting Georgia Guy Stones, a Mr. Mysterious Roadside Attraction. It is wild, standing alone in a field in the middle of the rural Elbert County, uh, Georgia. And it made $54 million, as a matter of fact. It's the largest, uh, largest granite uh, place in the world, it says. Uh, granite slabs with Ten Commandments, but not the Ten Commandments. So what is written on the Georgia Guidestones, and what do they say about our global future? Okay, well, you can read it on, and we'll do that, okay? Let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Be done. Okay, well, let's see. It says, uh, oh, there they are. See, I took you there yesterday. Uh, people wonder if the Georgia Guidestones really exist. Well, I showed you they do. Because the message inscribed on the granite uh, monument seems too horrific to believe. Conspiracy theorists point to its writings and its mysterious origin story as proof of a globalist plot to reduce the world population, eliminate national sovereignty, and replace individual rights with a communist dictatorship, among other plans. The guidestones consist of four tall stone slabs. These slabs surrounded a central slab, and a final slab sits on top of them, all as a capstone. Uh, slits in the center slab and capstone direct the sunlight as key dates and times to function as a calendar compassing clock. Yeah, we went out there yesterday. Uh, the guys lines. Um, are inscribed in eight different languages: English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hindi, 
Hebrew, uh, Hebrew, Chinese, and Russian. In addition, Egyptian. Uh, hieroglyphics and classical Greek are written into the capstones. Okay, well, I can't hardly read this shit. The famines promote a uh, dystopian post apocalyptic globalist or New World Order alumni uh, on me message depending on your perspective and the authors of the message are anonymous. Yeah, that is true. The Georgia Guidestones uh, text. Here is what is written on the Georgia Guidestones. Uh, you know, maintain humanity. And humanity means everybody. Human. It don't just say Americans. It says humanity. And you got to keep it under 500 million. So that means you're going to have to have somebody because we're getting, we've gotten, what, they say you've got 7.5 billion people now? Oh my gosh, man. Come on now. That means you're going to have to kill 7.5 billion people uh, or more to get, 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 get it under there just to begin with. And then you can't have any. You're gonna, they're going to keep it so you don't ha can't have any kids. You're not going to have any kids. And then the guidelines reproduction wisely. Okay, well, cut everybody's balls off, I guess. All right, and then, uh, you know, you know, you see how they, de they desecrate the clit and stuff on them female. They, they, it's horrible, man, what they do. They take a woman's right to have any passion, any love, or whatever. I mean, gotta love from the heart, but there ain't no, no body pleasure. No female can have a body pleasure in them, in them foreign places. Well, men, are, men are allowed to, but the women can't. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. This is a damn. It's a. Uh, it's been. We've gotten civilized, man. Come on, now we ain't gotta go backwards, are you idiots? Okay, that's crazy, man. Uh, be not a cancer on the earth, that's good advice. Get a job, don't take it, you know, clean up everything. Nature, leave nature alone, you know. There's some good points, everybody should do that. Uh, and be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature, okay. Leave room for nature, I said that twice. Okay, well, you know, that's all good and dandy. You should have thought about that before you started them, using all that damn oil. Who would argue with probably true beauty and love, okay, except <laughs> reduce global population to an arbitrary 500 million. The global population today is estimated at 7.8 billion, which means the people who directed this just want to kill 7.3 billion people. It is seeming absurdity that causes otherwise smart people to ignore or dismiss the obvious intent of this statement. But current events offer reason to pause and consider is the coronavirus, the COVID-19, the pandemic, uh, to kick off this uh, depopulation goal? There is a nuclear holocaust in our future. Perhaps World War III, while the ruling elite waited out in their underground bunkers. It's important to understand the meaning of these messages between the lines, keeping the population in balance with nature. Uh, pre uh, supposes that a population over 500 million somehow puts nature out of balance. Yet, are people not part of nature? And just what does nature in balance look like? Uh, the guidelines also suggest that people are a cancer on the earth. By whose determination? This also requires that reproduction uh, uh, be prevented except under direction and control of the ruling class. Okay, you see that? A marker at the Guidestone states, let these uh, be Guidestones to an age of reason. Let's examine some more of their reasonable message. Okay, you know. Uh, guide, uh, guiding reproduction. Okay, wisely. Seems acceptable on the surface, but it means stripping people of their natural right to reproduce. 
having children would become a privilege in their new world order. Okay? Uh, improving fitness refers to genetic engineering and controversially uh, to preventing the birth of babies who may not appear perfect. This is uh, ingenious. Uh, ingenious. Determining who may be inferior by race, religion, or other criteria and killing them off. Uh, outright or by preventing them from reproducing. The fourth method about controlling passion with reason seems sensible enough. However, it means that religion are religions are not only to be servant to science, but that religious religions are to be banned outright. Just as a, the USSR, China, and other communist regimes. Okay, same, similarly, traditions are devalued along with knowledge of history. New is to be deemed better because science, except that it doesn't mean science. It means science that's approved by the ruling elite. The fifth and the sixth points refer to laws and courts. Most people want to protection of fair laws and just courts. In truth, these points uh, set the structure for the one world government being pushed by the United Nations. Uh, today's, uh, continue, content, today's countries would be stripped of their sovereignty and become servant. <coughs> <clears throat> to the world court, people who haven't researched this issue often scoff, but this has re already happened in the European Union and is a core tenet of the USMCA that President Trump recently signed. Balancing rights with social duties may be the clearest demand for a global socialist dictatorship. We enjoy rights because we exist, not because a person working in a government position gives us rights. And no one working in government or in other, any other position has any right to require any social duties of anyone. Their meaning is to require an undefined amount of time and labor of everyone to support the state. Some Americans may think it would be just fine to contribute to the well-being of others, even if by force. And that volunteering brings joy. This is not voluntary. This is toil at gunpoint. And anyone who fled a socialist regime and came to America would slap you silly for being naive. Okay? Uh, that is a whole big statement there. Who created the Georgia Geisel? Well, just who are these people behind Georgia Stonehenge who want to kill off 94% of the people on Earth? <coughs> to this day, the true owners uh, and financial backers have not been publicly disclosed. Uh, and that's a bit scary. Uh, in 1979, a man just using it, uh, his own, his, some uh, made-up made name of Mr. Christian hired the uh, Elberton Granite Finishing Company to build the monument. It was commissioned on behalf of a small group of loyal Americans who wanted to remain anonymous. The stone workers, bankers, and other vendors were sworn to secrecy. The monument was unveiled. In 1980, a ground worker west of the Guy Stones provides additional data and covers a buried time capsule. Uh, yeah, we've seen that. Today, the mysterious Georgia's Guy Stones are owned by Elberton County, and a surveillance camera monitors all of the coming and goings. And so they got us on their videotape, too. Uh, it is uh, it is uh, something else, and we went there and seen it. It's... Uh, we went there, like like I said, for the education of it, and uh, this is what it's all about. But I wanted to point that out that somebody had brought that up to me, and I just wanted to see what I could find on it. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because we know what it's all about. Uh, it's a damn bit. You can take it any way you want to. 
you, you never be able unless you can actually get in those uh that's the, the thing that i've seen uh that what i've seen is a six-year-old boy was not coming from devil worshipers okay uh let me tell you that they, they were they were worshiping in, in god okay they were worshiping the lord so that that's um uh, that is on unbelievable, and that's why I said that they believe God is in is in charge of this, and, it, and that's why I said God. If God wants to kill off eight and a half billion people, let God do that. Well, I I was just basing my prediction on how much it would be. Uh, people by the time they do this, by Bill Gates's mouth, you know, because he he's the one that said it's gonna be like nine billion people here in the next year, you know, a couple of years or whatever. He was a little vague on that, but uh, he did say it out of his own mouth. He wanted to kill 10 or 15 percent of the population at the time, and I said that sucker's lying, man. He really is lying, and he's want they want to kill off eight and a half billion people. We want to know the truth. It's not lying. He's not lying about him wanting to kill him, uh, kill off him people. Uh, he wants to help you out by uh, killing you off and your blood off. That way, we don't need no hospitals, no doctors. <laughs> Excuse me, no down, uh, you don't need none of that, because it's all, that, that's all, uh, all getting dandy, man, you know? So, uh, there you go, man. Well, we had a good time, and that museum, wasn't that a museum awesome? Uh, you know, it's free to go there, it's a tourist attraction, I suggest you spend the day out there, and, uh, maybe you might not should go there at night. Uh, that's what, they do. I don't say, well, we don't go back there at night, so whatever. last night was Halloween. Isn't that wild that we did it on the day, uh, I had no idea. I didn't think about no. Uh, wait, I don't live in the in in the darkness in the, in that, and I don't even think about that most of the time. Uh, you know, and if it, you know, if I pray to anybody, it's gonna be God. Right now, I got a problem with with the whole thing, Shabula of it. Okay, it just it, it's too much for my mind, and uh, I just I'll pass that on and let somebody else do that. My duty. Uh, he would, could tell me a lot. He could give me a lot of answers, um, but he's not here right now. He believed this shit was real. I believe it's real. I told you about it. It's bothered me all my whole life. And if, if the One World Order is coming up, and you're, they're going to reach that. Did you see the soldiers in Philadelphia? Oh, by the way, that was uh, Richie from Boston. I uh, borrowed that information from him. I shared his videos. They get taken down all the time, so I just made a little cap. So I want to make sure I get the military in. He's been crying out to everybody to, you know, get it out there, you know. And I'm sure I'm not probably ain't making no money, and they can have it all. I don't care about money. I just kind of care about my freedom. I care about you and your freedom and my son and my unborn blood. There's no reason why anybody has the right to do that. Don't let them do this, man. You give me 350 million Americans, I told you what I do. I'll show you what I do. All right? I'm, uh, you know, I'm from the Show Me State. Well, come on, back me up, man. If I get taken out, you got to, somebody take my place. Everybody should be wanting to do this, okay? Join the cable company. It's a voice, man. It's a voice for all of us. All right? Come on, man. Go with me, man. Okay? Let's do this. All right? Hit that subscribe button. Hit notification. Get all my videos. Go and check it out. Your rights have ever been violated. Well, this is an entity that can stop that. Yeah, we're supposed to be we the people in the government. You see the car, we the people? Well, we the people, man. We're going to have another entity that stand up for us, man. It's not. It's going to be bigger than me. It's not even going to have me, but it's going to have the guidelines of, of what's right and what's, you know, the decency. And we got everybody. Just imagine all the smart people that we got. These are Americans. And they can, and you know what? They can, you don't know... No politics, none of your, because they don't care. They're, all the politics that you got going on don't mean a dang hill of beans, because you listen to both of them. And, you know, and they, and uh, Donald Trump, he's so flippy-floppy. Uh, Mr. President, he's so wishy-washy and flippy-floppy. Uh, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to just listen. I read his books. I know his brain. And uh, that scares me. And the worst thing that scares me is the other side, too. They scare me even worse. So, I mean, there's no, uh, there's, how about, let's just vote me in there, okay? Or, you know, vote, let's vote somebody else who thinks this way. That gosh, man, let's go fix that. Let's go fix it, man. Let's get them people out of there, and let's don't let this happen, man. You can't do this, man. If that, that person ain't got down to them, they got just as much right to live as you do, and me, 
I got just as much right to live as anybody else, man. It's not right that you you can make that decision. Why? Because I got a cough. Okay. Bye. you bye bye. All right, that's wrong, man. Okay, come on back and see me. And uh, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America, man. How united we stand, divided we fall. Let's get these people out of here, man. You don't want to be in our country and get the hell out, man. That's all I can say, you know. I'll help you out, man. Let's get this baby. You cannot do that. You come over here to destroy us? That's wrong, man. Think about that, man. Just happening, though. If you don't believe it, it's happening, uh, well, it's happening here in America, okay? I can't believe it. There's only 27 states that you can actually take your uh, law, get, law Biden citizen can take their uh, license, their gun license, and go through that state without having any other problem. If you're in the state of Georgia, you got 27 other states, that's it. The rest of them, you're going to have problems, okay? All right, just like you're a, just like you're a convicted felon. A convicted felon with a farm. Convicted felon's okay. You can have that. But you can't put that violation of a gun right because you got no right to take the person's gun. You can make them jump through all kinds of hoods, make them go to the gun range. You can make them do a lot of things. Register. Uh, you can do whatever you want to a convicted felon, but you can't touch his right to defend himself and his family. This is wrong. It's just like this uh, idiot. I like to shake the idiot's hand and say, let's take the... Let's take the deadbeat father or the mother's driver's license. So why? So we can stab them in the back every time they want to go try to feed their families or go to the doctor or something because they can't drive, okay? Cause they, you know what? You get them to fix the infrastructure and pay them minimum wage and pay their child support off. It, can't, it doesn't have to be. The, it's just wrong, man. It's, that is so wrong, man. Okay? You give all that money, all the money. That, it's just everything we're like in a bubble. Oh, I make some more money, man. You know we're gonna take our money out. Okay, well, hey, there you go. We're gonna work. Okay, food, and uh, you're gonna do whatever they say. Okay, uh, come on back and see me. Bye bye.